Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be a four card spread, having a look to see at any messages that may be helpful for you in the upcoming week. Guys, let's get straight into it. Thanks for joining me, Sag. Let's have a look and see what the weekly theme for you for the upcoming week is. What is the weekly theme for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Sagittarius. What is the upcoming theme for the week ahead for you? Alignment. Okay, this is beautiful. A covenant of mind, a body, and spirit. Okay, you're aligning with yourself, with your desires, with your goals, and definitely with someone else. In particular, if you are dealing with an air sign, you do have the swords here. So I feel like if you are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the two of you are aligning very, very nicely here. Now, this could be someone romantic. This could be a friend. This could be someone you work with. I feel it's someone that is around you now. And what I love is because the swords represent communication here, I feel as though you're on the same page as someone here. There's a notion that they're agreeing with what you have to say or you're agreeing with what they have to say. Words can be very powerful. And I feel like this is absolutely no exception for you coming into the week ahead. I feel like there's a, vic uh, uh, a victorious conversation. You'll find out a piece of information, you'll research a piece of information, some sort of words are definitely going to resonate with you in the upcoming week. And it's all about alignment, so things falling into place here. I feel for those that have been out of alignment in a relationship, you know, if it is around love or spirituality, you've got beautiful wings here. I do think this is going to take a change for you. I will use the Shadowscapes uh, Tarot to sort of specify and see where, where it is that you're aligning into the upcoming week. But to have this as a general theme is quite powerful here, Sag. Um, you're gaining clarity here. Or I feel like if you have been out of alignment with someone, you're wanting, you're wanting to get back on track with something or someone. Um, I'm not sure. This could be something you've researched. This could be like a career goal. It's something that's worth fighting for. You can see the word uh, truth. Or is it the word truth sort of embedded on the hilt? And, you know, there's lots of hearts, which, yes, can symbolize love and emotion. Absolutely. So I think what's what's happening here for a lot of you is, is that you're finding someone that aligns with you um, in relationships, friendships, uh, the people around you. So this is quite significant. Let's have a look and see how this applies for you in each area of your life. The first card you have is the Eight of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So for those dealing with a water sign, Sagittarius, this person is coming up for you. For some of you, if you are dealing with a water sign, I feel as though the Eight of Cups is the search for something deeper. I feel as though someone is struggling. I'm not sure if this is you, Sag, or this is the person you're dealing with, but someone's struggling to find a deeper connection here. I think there's want. I think you're wanting to align so bad with someone or there's someone around you. I mean, it possibly air or water. It can be any sign, really. But I feel there's someone around you that's wanting something deeper or you're wanting something deeper with them. And for some, there's there's a lack of alignment here. Because the Eight of Cups is, is you're walking away from someone because there's lack, there's limitation. There's It's almost like if there's not restrictions placed on you and your relationship with this person. I feel with the Eight of Cups coming up, Something that you're involved in now, Sagittarius, it could be a work thing. I mean, it could be a hobby that you're involved with in a community group or a relationship. Some of you aren't finding the emotional depth that, that you're wanting. For some, yes, there's absolutely there's victory, but maybe for others, there's victory once you walk away. You know, you're sort of swimming away from this with the Eight of Cups, or there's a water sign that's swimming away from you because the Eight of Cups is, is that search for something deeper. Um, especially emotionally, something more fulfilling, something that aligns. You know, there needs to be commonalities. I feel like for some of you, you're lacking common ground with someone and it's just not working. You're trying to make it work, he said, but for some reason it's not coming together. Um, I almost feel like if, if this is a water sign, they might be going out and doing their own thing. I feel like they're just... They're sort of um, doing their own thing right now and I, they may be a little bit withdrawn because I think that there's, there's an awakening or a journey that they have to embark on on their end. And as a result, you may feel you're a little bit left out here. Um, 
But maybe it's a time for you to get centered. You know that the sword is in the center here. So it's almost like for you to gain clarity and direction with what it is that you want to do. Um, because this person may be, you know, going through a funk of some kind here uh, with the Eight of Cups. For some of you, there is a deeper connection forming. You know, it could be with this air sign. I don't really like to pigeonhole it to any sign, but I know everyone's dealing with so many or different elements. So I don't know if that's helpful or not. Let's have a look at the next. Okay, the Five of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here with the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conf uh, confrontation, it's conflict. It's too many opinions, too many thoughts, too many misalignments. Uh, something's not working cohesively together. You know, it's it's going against the grain. You can see what looks like this man here, and he's going against the current. So I, I do feel it's a sense of going against the grain. I do feel it's maybe, it's not, I wouldn't say forceful energy, but I, I honestly feel for some of you, what I get from these cards, the imagery and the symbolism, um, working together, I feel like there's someone going, someone's trying too much to appeal or to impress or to make something work and it's just not happening. I'm not sure if you're feeling precious from the outside. I can see all these foxes are here around you. So I'm not sure if this is family, this is friends, this is associates, people around you that are sort of pressuring you or expecting you to do one thing Sagittarius. And I'm not sure because you are the one. So I'm not sure if this is you or this is another fire sign around you and you're pushing against it. And I almost feel like to the, to the point where it's resistance here. And this is not alignment. This would be the opposite of alignment because you're, for some of you, you're, you're going too far trying to be something you're not or trying to make something that isn't working right now. And that doesn't mean it'll never work. In the upcoming week, you might find like someone is pushing against your efforts or pushing against um, how open you may be or vice versa. The roles could be reversed here. The five of ones could be a, d a different fire sign. Um, and maybe it's you that's more resistant than they are. I also feel like with the Five of Wands, some of you have to fight for something. I don't know what it is. Are you fighting to prove something to someone else? And I think it's on the exterior because the Five of Wands is, is too many opinions. It's, it's sort of like just this surge of energy coming at you at all different frequencies, at all different vibrations, and you're trying to duck and dodge them, Sag, because in essence, you, you know what aligns with you. But for some reason, I feel like there's a disapproving nature or it's... It, someone's um someone's feathers are a little ruffled here um and i don't know if this is yours or someone around you but i feel like it's not uh, for some reason it's just not it's it's not working for some of you but for some there is a fight you know the the sword is this it's 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 almost like an ace um it's alignment it's ace it's the first letter of the alphabet it's you're pioneering something here. Yes, there might be a bit of a battle. There might be a little bit of resistance, but the results could be very nice for you here. I do think for some of you, you're trying to make a group effort work. I'm not sure if this is friends, if there's been a little bit of gossip or um, a little bit of a falling out or perhaps a lack of cohesion in, in a group setting, in a community group, in a work setting with colleagues, with your team, with a team you're part of. I feel like some of you are trying to make it work again. You're trying to come into alignment here. And for some, you will, but like I said, it might be a little bit of a touchy subject um, and there might be a bit of a challenging effort on your behind, uh, on your part um, to get that going. You do have the King of Wands, so you definitely have beautiful energy around you, Sagittarius. You are the King of Wands here, male or female. Um, if this is not you, it's definitely another fire sign around you, a fellow Sag, Aries or Leo. King of Wands energy is quite, th this is a person of action. It's, it's a time of action. For some of you, if there is a fire sign that's showing resistance or pushing against the grain, I feel like there's something will eventuate from this. One of you will actually leave. I feel like you see how one is, is looking. The king of ones looks to the five of ones and this one's sort of running away or like going, you know, the other direction. So I do. I feel like someone's not aligning with you and either you're going to leave them Sagittarius or they're leaving you um, or you're watching someone leave. But it all comes down to alignment here. So either you're receiving a clear message from the universe, maybe within you're finally gaining that mental clarity, which is the sword, that this person is not meant for you. Um, 
and that you're trying to make something out of it and that connect that deepness that depth the substance whatever it is that you're searching for is just not evident at least maybe not in the upcoming week but that's okay because i feel like for some of you there could be someone new you know um you have two fives here, you know, the, the four and the one make five, and then you've got the five of ones here. The five and five make um, ten, which is number one, which is a new start. Some of you do have a new start, a new friendship, a new love, a new romance, possibly even a job opportunity, because there's lack of fulfillment here. And you're finally aligning within yourself. You know your truth, and you know it's time to leave. The king of ones is all about action. As soon as something doesn't sit well with him, he's one to act. He's not one to ponder and think and scrutinize and evaluate time and time again this is not his energy or her energy so i feel like if this is what you're going through sagittarius it's a it's a period in the upcoming week where you feel with the king of wands you feel like it's time to take action and this is a big move it's not the knight of wands it's not the page of wands it's the king of wands so this can very well be some sort of transfer either leaving behind a relationship leaving behind a job traveling abroad like it's a major movement or major action that is around you that will allow for a new start in some area of your life so this is quite exciting here Sag but look I will leave it at that I hope this reading has been insightful um, thank you thank you thank you for watching Sag it's always a pleasure reading for you please feel free to share your thoughts likes comments um, I'll take the good with the bad so whatever it is that you have to say please feel free like you um, please feel like you can express yourself below otherwise thank you so much for joining me and hopefully we'll chat next week thanks again Sag bye for now